question is, does the, the word anointing, and as it refers to like kings being anointed, prophets being anointed, would that extend to like pastors today? Um, there is the biblical view of anointing, and then there is a more contemporary, unbiblical view that has come along in some church traditions, and the word gets used a lot in ways that aren't biblical. The biblical view is that it is uh, a recognition by uh, some emissary of God, someone who is commissioned by God for this purpose, a recognition of that person bestowed on someone else uh, under the direction of the Holy Spirit, and God confirms that through a prophet. Right? A prophet is saying, you're anointed by God. The people in this case are not the first ones to anoint David. Samuel anoints David. Other times, David, in other moments throughout the history of Israel, kings are anointed by prophets or uh, God, in, in, in some other way, makes clear, like to Moses with a burning bush, you are my appointed messenger. So God is a, anointing very specifically in ways people can make clear connection to God with. You didn't walk around saying, I'm anointed, unless you had some evidence of that. The apostolic evidence of anointing was they could raise people from the dead, they could put people to death with a word, they could heal people. You know, The supernatural miracles of the apostles was their evidence of anointing in a unique way. I can't do those things. I don't have any anointing. Now, in, in terms of my gift to teach, that's a, that's a gift of the Spirit that it's either self-evident or it's not, right? In other words, somebody can say they can teach, ask them to get up for 30 minutes, you'll know pretty quickly. And that's, that's where those gifts get visibly evidenced. But it's not, and, and in that limited sense, it is an anointing. But all, every Christian in that, by that definition, every Christian's anointed because we all have some gift. Right, not in that same, not at that same level, right? Not in that same way. So anyone who might say, "Well, you you are an anointed man of God," well, okay, I know what they mean, and I'm thankful for the, you know, the encouragement, maybe. But in not, it's not true in a literal sense. It's I'm just a guy who has a spiritual gift, and he's doing what he can with it, like we all should. I mean, no, no better, no worse. Just it's you get it. You have a gift to pray. I see you do it all the time, and when you do it, you're doing something better than I can do in that regard. That's why you're in the church, right? We all have this position of, of opportunity through our gift to do what we do. 